Hey, First Baptist Youth, I hope you're having a great week. I hope you've been able to get out and enjoy uh, the warmer weather a little bit as we start getting into spring. We are going to continue, <clears throat> excuse me, going over the parables of Jesus. And today we're going to look at a uh, story out of Matthew 18, uh, verse 23. And Jesus talks about a servant who is in debt and goes to his master with that issue. But I want to uh, <clears throat> give us kind of a story version. So I'm not going to read the exact scripture. You are welcome to go look at the scripture. Uh, but I want us to think about it maybe in today's terms a little bit. So uh, let's think of it this way. I want you to take a moment and think of a uh, whoever is your best friend or a really good friend of yours. Okay. And I want you to pretend that you have borrowed over a couple years $500 in total from this friend. And so you go to the friend and you know they want to be paid their $500 back. And you say, hey, uh, I know you want your $500. I know you wanted it by today, but I, I just wasn't able to get it. I don't have it. Things are pretty rough and, and I don't have your $500 right now. Can you please give me just a little bit more time? so I can get the $500. And your friend uh, turns to you, and instead of saying, yes, I'm going to give you more time, they do something totally unexpected. They say, you know what? Since you're my friend, don't worry about it. You don't owe me anything. Forget about the $500. And so we would probably all walk out and go, Whew, oh my goodness, how tremendous is that? Uh, not only, uh, you know, do uh, I, I could have gotten a little more time. That's what I was going for. But instead, they like just said I didn't owe them anything. How great is that? And so you go home and you're excited about not having to pay your $500 back. But uh, you turn to your brother or sister. And if you are an only child like me, just pretend you have a brother or sister. Uh, you turn to them and you say, hey, you know, you borrowed $40 of my birthday money. You need to give that back like right now. Why in the world uh, haven't you paid me back? And you know what? If you don't pay me back by the end of the night tonight, I'm telling mom and dad that you owe me $40. And some of you might be thinking, well, wait a second. I was just forgiven $500 and then I made my brother and sister pay me $40 uh, that they owe me. And that's Jesus' point with this story. He's reminding us all, God has shown us all mercy. And therefore, we should turn and be merciful and forgiving of others. And so there are two things I want you to take away from this. One, that God is forgiving, that God forgives us. We know we have all made mistakes, right? We've all done things we shouldn't do. We've all done things that we wish we'd done better. Or maybe sometimes we haven't done something that we should have done. And God is forgiving and continues to love us. And that is the point Jesus is making here. That God loves us and is forgiving. And we can always go to God and ask for forgiveness. But the second point Jesus is making is that remember that you've been forgiven of much by God. And that we should in turn be kind and forgiving and love other people as God has loved us. Now, I do want to take a moment and say that doesn't mean, you know, if people are physically harming us, uh, that we just need to forget about it, you know, hurting us, that, uh, forget about it and don't tell anybody. That's not what Jesus' point is here by this. Certainly, if somebody's uh, putting us in, in harm's way, we need to tell an adult and, and speak to that right? But he is saying, remember, uh, with brothers or sisters or friends or school uh, mates, whatever it may be, when they, uh, you know, might mess up or when they might uh, borrow something from us, be kind. And remember, uh, God has forgiven us of much and that we, in turn, can turn to others and be forgiving and kind to them. So I hope this week you will be kind to others as God has been kind to you. Know that we care about you and we're praying for you and I hope you have a great rest of your week.